Hello friends, welcome to Weathercast. As you all know, 2020-2021 uh, uh, is a La Nina year. So I am going to talk about uh, what are the impacts of the La Nina that has developed pretty late this year and how will it affect the Indian weather, especially the winter season. So before we uh, get into the depth, let us just understand what is the La Nina. Uh, so I have shown the sea surface temperature anomaly chart here. And as you can see, there is a clear La Nina signal that the Eastern Pacific has cooled and the Western Pacific is hot. So what it does is it creates a atmospheric high pressure here and atmospheric low pressure here that allows the trade winds to flow from east to west. So this is a typical signa ocean signature of La Nina and when this ocean signature also reflects in the atmosphere, atmospheric patterns then a La Nina is announced and uh, for this year it was uh, the coupling between ocean and atmosphere, the La Nina coupling between ocean, ocean and atmosphere happened in September. That's when the La Nina was announced. And uh, if you can look at the see the uh, Nino index, the 3.4 index, uh, when it is uh, when it crosses a, crosses a threshold of minus 0.8 then only La Nina is announced and that you, that you can see happened in September sometime. And since then the La Nina has been uh, increasing in strength and as of uh, October uh, the strength is minus 1.6 which is quite a strong uh, La Nina. So this year is likely to be a moderate to strong La Nina year uh, which is seen from the temperature anom anomalies. So what the La Nina does is it actually pushes the uh, walker circulation, it strengthens the walker circulation cell in the uh, Pacific Ocean. So what happens is the this is the Pacific Ocean. So it creates a, a stronger uh, trade winds or moisture to flow from East Pacific to West Pacific thereby creating these nice um, um, uh, uh, atmospheric convection uh, and that leads to a lot of rain in the Southeast Asian region which is the maritime continent as well as the Indian subcontinent. Uh, so because of the heating here what happens is the uh, Indian Ocean Dipole also uh, starts to uh, favor uh, the Indian subcontinent and uh, this is the typical um, nature of the walker cell in, in, in the Indian region where it is blowing from west to east because there are cooler waters here and warmer water here near Bay of Bengal and hence there is a lot of uh, moisture uh, flux which is flowing from uh, west to east and hence mostly the maritime continent is and Australian uh, continent is what uh, gets favored from La Nina. But the southwest monsoon also gets favored uh, due to La Nina because the westerlies stand them. So this is the typical La Nina signature. And uh, like I already said, uh, the La Nina has developed and it is uh, continue. It, it is expected to continue at least until the end of summer 2021. So at least March, that is what is expected, March or April. And uh, this is uh, from the uh, Bureau of Australian Meteorology. So what they are saying is that the model suggests, all the models suggest that La Nina will peak in December and uh, mo most of the models are uh, uh, suggesting that it's, it's going to be a strong event which can be uh, compared with that of 2010 and 2012, uh, that the 2010 to 2012 was also a La Nina year. The only difference is that the La Nina in 2010 developed much earlier and was long lived, it uh, lived almost for two years whereas this La Nina, the current La Nina is expected to uh, uh, live only for one year and the uh, 2010 Lanina also enhanced the negative Indian Ocean Dipole which is usually very good for Australia and Northeast Monsoon as well. But this year the ocean, Indian Ocean Dipole is in neutral state and that's why the Northeast Monsoon is not likely to behave similar to that of 2010 and this is where a lot of differences are going to be there and hence we cannot uh, say that uh, every Lanina year is the same. Okay. And this is the basis, the difference in the 2010 and 2020 La Nina is the basis for why I am expecting a, a subpar northeast monsoon because it has developed much later into the season which is not allowing the easterlies to penetrate uh, and also uh, there is not a negative Indian Ocean Dipole because negative Indian Ocean Dipole is very good for uh, northeast monsoon. Uh, so it is still in neutral state, the negative, the Indian Ocean Dipole is still in the neutral state. 
so uh, that is uh, as far as northeast monsoon goes now coming to the winter so what happens is you have the winters winters are mostly controlled by this phenomenon called polar vortex so how this polar vortex works is you have a strong jet stream at the mid latitudes and uh, when this cold air is contained in the uh, polar region and hot air is contained in the equatorial region then you have a very stable polar vortex which doesn't dip down thereby it doesn't bring chills to the indian that much uh, cold weather or extreme cold weather to uh, indian region it doesn't bring it when it is in a stable state but when the uh, equatorial air starts to move northwards then there is a reduced temperature gradient which uh, meanders causes causes meandering of this uh, jet stream and that meandering of the jet stream causes the jet stream to uh, become unstable and thereby dip to lower levels and that kind of brings a lot of chill to uh, india as as uh, low as south india so uh, even so during la nina uh, so during if the polar vortex actually weakens uh, the jet stream weakens then it can actually bring a lot of cold air to the south so southern regions as well okay and uh, <coughs> that is the um, basis of winters the polar vortex and subtropical uh, so, uh, polar jet stream they both play a very important role and if you see the temperature gradients between the equatorial and the polar region has reduced because you see a lot of warming here so warm air warm air has moved and this is kind of probably to do something with the lanina signal because as the lanina this portion cools then uh, somewhere uh, the warmer water has to move and that water mostly has moved here so there is a weaken there is a reduced temperature gradient and that reduced temperature gradient makes the jet stream uh, very weak and that is leads that leads to the dipping down of the polar vortex and causing extreme weather conditions uh, both in uh, the united states as well as india so what will what will be the impacts of la nina harsh winters likely over indian subcontinent central india in particular may bear the brunt due to dipping down of the jet stream or the polar vortex and uh, that uh, may also lead to some unseasonal rains in central india uh, which may uh, hinder the rabi crop uh, cultivation can scare needs to be taken between december to february uh, extreme snowfall is possible because if the polar vortex dips down then it can bring um, a lot of um, uh, cold air and that uh, that cold air uh, combined with some kind of a low level circulation may lead to heavy snowfall events in uh, himachal pradesh jammu and kashmir and upper reaches of north india uh, since the polar vortex dips down much south so the western disturbance induced winter rains may reduce because uh, those cyclonic circulations uh, may not happen because if the polar vortex is stable then it can lead to formation of these cyclonic circulation for north india but if it doesn't happen then the western disturbance may reduce and uh, the number of western disturbance may itself reduce so this is likely to be a normal western disturbance season whereas last year we saw um, a record number of western disturbances like two times or even three times more than what we see in a season that is not going to happen uh, so uh, the winter rains may uh, reduce in north india that is what i expect and lastly like i said northeast monsoon may perform subpar since la nina has developed late and it has not allowed the iod to become negative it is still in neutral state uh, so it is not allowing the westerlies to strengthen so these are the impacts of la nina that i expect uh the 2020 la nina uh, which has just evolved uh, and what are the impacts on the winter season is what i have uh, covered in this video so thank you for your support if you like this uh, video uh, please subscribe to this channel and i will be back with regular updates along with dynamics thank you